Yo, what's up guys? My name is Dallas, aka Infernus, and welcome back to the Ticket Realm. Welcome to a tutorial, Advanced Minecraft Creations. Basically, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make title screens in Minecraft, everything you need to know about that in order to make a good adventure map. So let's get right into it. First and foremost, you're going to want to get one of those juicy command blocks. Because with these command blocks, you're going to be able to make so much magic happen. So you're going to have to first type in the following command. You could either do 64 or just one. It really doesn't matter because you're going to be probably doing this on creative mode anyways. Step number two is uh, to disable the command block output. Because otherwise, whenever your command block spits something out, it's going to tell you in the chat bar. And that could be kind of inconvenient if you're trying to make a map. Now, this is the website that you're going to use to generate your Minecraft title code and what you need to do is go on Google to find this website type in Minecraft title code generator and if you find a different site or if it's of a different style or layout just follow the instructions and it'll work just the same basically what you need for, to do first is just type in the code uh, of the title you, that you want type in what you want it to say for the main title and then you have the subtitle and the main title is basically what's going to overlay first it's going to be the big bold text above your minecraft screen as you activate the account the uh the actual command and the subtext will be the thing below it it's a little bit smaller now the problem with this website is you can't control the size of the text in other websites you could but this is the most simple and down you could change the uh, color and the different orientation of the text and also at the very bottom you can see there's three different codes these codes is to activate to both title and subtitle at the same time or if you want to do it differently and I would recommend just doing the middle one because it works the best and now that you have the text copied simply just go back into the game and then go into any console command uh, out of the command blocks that you put down and then just go into the top one and then just paste it I'm sure you know how to do that um, and once you have that there you can see that it now works but there is different ways of getting it to work uh, all synced up in, in you know when you just leave it there it's just going to show the title at first but if you synchronize it using the uh, actual command block settings, then you can actually make it show up the title and also the subtitle at the same time. Or another way you can do this is if you take two command blocks and then copy the title code, put it into one, and then copy the subtitle code and then put it into two, and then connect the two command blocks via redstone, and then you just usually just use a uh, source like a redstone button or something to activate it. This way it doesn't activate more than once, and then you will have the title that you have all set up and essentially you can change the command block so there's different settings there's impulses which can change the way the command block receives the command and then uh, shows it on screen but I would recommend just leaving it on impulse don't change the actual command otherwise it's not gonna work good for any title finally what we do now is make a test for command and what this does is it makes it so like if you're walking around in the actual adventure map and you get near the command block the command block freaks out and then does its command thing which is very convenient if you wanted to uh, make your your map really realistic. You'll just be walking around and you, you don't even have to trigger anything. You don't have to just clumsily press a button and then boom, something mystically happens uh, and makes it really obvious on why that thing happened. You could just be walking near the command block in any adventure map and then it will set it off uh, using this test test four command. Basically, this is a proximity sen sensor. It's very good because, you know, this way, it's a very advanced way of... Uh, letting the command block know that there's a person nearby you don't have to use any buttons any pl pressure plates no uh, levers or nothing like that and basically what you need to do is you need to get some redstone you're gonna need some repeaters obviously and then you're gonna need one of these fancy looking repeaters you're going to want to put a redstone torch down very quickly and then maybe like half a second later just get take it away this way this way the delay is pretty much nothing and it keeps activating the command over and over again the test for command and then what you do there is you put the really fancy repeater right next to the command block and this will send a very very dim redstone signal coming out of this redstone repeater right here and what you need to do after that to make the signal more vibrant is simply by placing a regular command block right next to it which will repeat the signal and there you go now whenever you get within the proximity of this command block of whatever you put there the uh, you could change the value to 4 to 5 10 whatever you want however far you want the player to be before it activates and it will activate the redstone currents 
which is 100% mystifying. So yeah, very good for your Minecraft adventure maps. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Dallas, aka Infernus, and I'd like to say, I hope I taught you guys some valuable information that you will forever never forget, so it'll help you out in your Minecraft map making skills. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one, and goodbye.